we just entered into a new year, 2022. Have you thought about the fact that this could be the year that Jesus returns for his own? We've chosen a passage. First Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning with verse 13, to uh, look at this subject. Former pastor Joe Store wrote about his father who was a pastor. Joe, who was an author and a former pastor, said that on the first Sunday of each new year, his dad would preach about the return of Jesus, quoting from this passage, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. His point, Joe said, was always the same. This could be the year Jesus will return. Are you ready to meet him? Joe said, I'll never forget hearing that sermon at age six and thinking, if that's true, that Jesus is coming, I'm not sure that I'm among those he's coming for. I felt certain that my parents would be going to heaven and I wanted to go. Soon my dad came home after church one day and I asked him how I could be sure. Joe said his father opened the Bible, read some verses to him, and talked to him about his need of the Savior. It did not take much to convince me of my sins that day. Joe said, my dad led me to Christ at the age of six. I'll be forever grateful to him for planting those truths in my heart. That passage, Joe's dad preached from has several great truths. The first we notice is uh, from uh, verses 13 and 14 of First Thessalonians chapter 4. There is a reassurance about those who've gone on. This passage addresses those who've passed on, those other believers who've gone on to be of the Lord. And it says, don't sorrow as the world sorrows about them. Uh, they're with the Lord. Uh, they're in his presence. And then verses 15 and 16 tell us uh, about the resurrection of the dead in Christ when Jesus comes. It says uh, he'll come uh, uh, to receive his own, but first there'll be the resurrection of the dead and they'll be caught up to meet the Lord. And then uh, in verses 17 and 18, he tells about a reunion of those in Christ who are caught up together with those believers who've died. The living will be changed and uh, caught up with them to meet the Lord in the air. And then in verse 18, there's a reminder to believers to comfort others with this message, with this hope, the coming of our Lord. I hope you're ready for it. If you are, I rejoice with you. God bless you. If not, turn to the Lord God now. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Repent of your sins and trust Jesus. Put your trust in the Lord Jesus as your Savior. He'll save you now. He'll come into your heart and trust, and, and you trust him, and, and uh, he'll save your soul now. In thinking about this uh, passage and the coming of our Lord Jesus, there's a great old song that I love. It won't be very long till this short life shall end. It won't be very long till Jesus shall descend. And then the dead in Christ from beds of clay shall rise to meet the Lord and King up yonder in the skies. Oh, I hope that you're ready. God bless you if you are. If you're not, just bow your head now and call on the Lord and ask him to forgive you your sins and save your soul and be willing to trust Christ and live for Jesus now. God bless you as you love, as you love and serve our Lord.